Mark 5, 21 through 43. And when Jesus had gone over again in the boat to the other side, a great number of people came to him, and he was by the sea. And one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, came and seeing him, went down at his feet, and made strong prayers to him, saying, My little daughter is near to death. It is my prayer that you will come and put your hands on her, so that she may be made well and have life. And a woman who had had a flow of blood for twelve years, and had undergone much at the hands of a number of medical men, and had given all she had, and was no better, but even worse. When she had news of the things which Jesus did, went among the people coming after him, and put her hand on his robe. For she said, If I may only put my hand on his robe, I will be made well. And straight away the fountain of her blood was stopped, and she had a feeling in her body that her disease had gone, and she was well. And straight away Jesus was conscious that power had gone out of him, and turning to the people, he said, Who was touching my robe? And on his looking round to see her, who had done this thing, the woman, shaking with fear, conscious of what had been done to her, came, and falling on her face before him, gave him a true account of everything. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be free from your disease. And while he was still talking, they came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying, Your daughter is dead. Why are you still troubling the master? But Jesus, giving no attention to their words, said to the ruler of the synagogue, Have no fear, only have faith. And he did not let anyone come with him, but Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And they came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and he saw people running this way and that, and weeping and crying loudly. And when he had gone in, he said to them, why are you making such a noise and weeping? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they were laughing at him. But he, having sent them all out, took the father of the child and her mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. And taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which is my child, I say to you, get up. And the young girl got up straight away and was walking about, she being twelve years old, and they were overcome with wonder. And he gave them special orders that they were not to say anything of this, and he said that some food was to be given to her.